Uh, but yeah, this is just another example of kind of how they were evolving the storyline, how they chose to tell the story between you and uh, and Eddie. Uh, Meltzer goes on to say that you beat Charlie Haas in a 14-minute TV match uh, with the heel hook. Angle looks to have dropped about 20 pounds. He's very cut. He's ripped. All of, his, all of his stuff looked good. And he still throws himself around, but a slow down, not doing as many spots. It was the best match on the show at three and a quarter stars, but probably not the right way to work Angle's return, as he just seemed like another guy having a good match. So what what say you to this? Was this a lackluster way to have you return? Should your first match have been held off until a pay-per-view, you think? No, I'm the one that decided to have the match. I okay. wanted to have a tune-up match before I wrestled Eddie. I was out for five months. With my neck broken, you know, I, I hardly any, ever trained. Uh, I did diet the last month just to get ready for, you know, looking better. But um, I, I wanted to have this match just so I was confident I could go into SummerSlam and wrestle Eddie. So that, that's why they booked me against Charlie Haas. Yeah, that's what I was going to follow up with next, your diet, exercise. Like, it, I was going to, you know, obviously you were working hard. You knew you were coming back to wrestle. And so you just made a few changes there, I guess. I, I, I really went on a strict diet for about five weeks, and it worked extremely well. How about working with your old uh, Team Angle partner here in Charlie Haas? I always love working with Team Angle because they were amateur wrestlers. They understood my style. Uh, we always had great chemistry together. It was it was unfortunate that we broke up so fast. We, didn't, we don't, were only together for like six to eight months, mm -hmm. which was nothing. But um, I'm glad we did because we got a chance to wrestle each other. And uh, – you know, wrestling Charlie and wrestling Shelton. Uh, I love wrestling those guys because we have incredible chemistry together because we're both, we're all amateur wrestlers. So we're talking about how good you looked how, and, and all that, which, you know, it's just part of who you are. Let's talk about <laughs> how you felt mentally. Do you remember where you were at? In uh, terms of state uh, of I was, I was still confused, man. I, my head wasn't in it. I wanted, I wanted to come back at the SmackDown only pay-per-view the month after SummerSlam. I thought it would make a bigger impact if Kurt Angle came back to a SmackDown only pay-per-view because I was on SmackDown. But Vince was adamant about getting me to SummerSlam. He wanted me booked on SummerSlam. He wanted to make a lot of money with me at SummerSlam. So that's what I was going to do. And uh, I just, you know, at this point in time, I just didn't believe I was ready. Um, but but I had to I had to be ready. I didn't have a choice. Well, that goes back to it being the second biggest show of the year. So he's going to want his superstars. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't blame him for that, but I, you know, I, I was trying to talk him into, hey, put me on a SmackDown only pay per view. He's like, no bullshit. <laughs> yeah. You're going on this one. <laughs> Screw you, pal. I've got you under contract. If you're <laughs> at all ready, you're going to wrestle on it. So I don't blame him. Yeah. 